Hi. For those of you who don't really know me, my name is Taylor, and um, among ukulele playing and singing that I've only done on this channel, I also crochet a lot, and I have been for a while. And what I'm doing right now is I'm making a video for how to measure something so that it, I can get it exactly fit. So if I ever ask you for your measurements and you're like, what are you talking about? I will send you this video. So if you're here because of this, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need either the measuring tape for, you know, clothing and stuff that is flexible. You can wrap it around stuff. It's not stiff like this. Now, if you don't have one of those, you get a measuring tape like this. You pull it out a good three feet, set it across your table as so. And you get a shoelace. This shoelace uh, is from my shoe. My other shoe is currently on my foot, lace tied. Anyways, so here's what you're going to do. You are going to take the end of the shoelace, which is the aglet. You're going to take the very end of it, hold it with one finger, and wrap it all the way around your head. And then where the end where the end of the shoelace right here touches the shoelace, you're going to pinch that part and you're going to put that at the beginning of the measuring tape, which mine is over here. And then you're going to take the rest and just stretch it out a little bit. My measurement is... Eh. Ah, no! No, stop it! Mine is 22 and a half inches. Anyways. Another thing I'm going to need you to do. Ah, stop doing this. Stay. Another thing you're going to need to do is, um, that's measurement number one. This is measurement number two. What you'll do is you'll put the end right just in the middle of your head. Like if you need help, just go from your nose go to your head, and then bring it down to the bottom of your ear. And then once you have that, you're going to pinch this part. One sec. Can I, can we go in a few minutes? How few? Like, less than five? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. And then you're going to have that end pinched. You're going to put it at the end and have it all worked out. And... Mine is about eight and a half inches. So that's how you do just for the hat. If there's stuff you want to do, like there's a lot of things trending now, like like this beard, like this beard thing. What you're going to need to do for that, real quick, I'm not going to go through every single hat, but this is just for this specific hat. What I'm going to need you to do is go from the bottom of your ear to your chin and then you're gonna measure that mine is about six and a quarter inch so that's measurement number three if you are doing a mustache hat and then I need you to go from the bottom of your ear across your upper lip into the bottom of your other ear and that for me is eleven and a half inches so I would have four measurements twenty two and a half, um, e I forgot my other measurement, I think it's eight and a half, and then I totally forgot my other measurements, but that's what you need to do for hats, and I will just post a whole nother video on Caps for Cancer. Thank you, bye.